welcome to the Raspberry Field Tour. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about our three new varieties that we've just named and released this year. Um, but first of all, to give you a bit of background, the Raspberry Breeding Programme is funded by the Raspberry Breeding Consortium. We're currently in year two of the current tranche of the consortium and it's a five-year project. The objectives focus on developing new high-quality raspberry cultivars for the fresh market, suitable for low input systems, so cheap to grow, and that are also acceptable for the whole supply chain. We concentrate our efforts on both floricane and primocane types, and we're increasingly looking at long cane types. We aim to produce new cultivars that are robust and have some tolerance or resistance to disease, especially to fight off the root rot. And we aim to do this in a shortened time scale with the use of marker assisted selection developed as part of the Underpinning Science Programme here at the Institute. We have big news this year, um, exciting news, we have three new cultivars that we named and commercialised this year uh, and these very much represent a series of firsts for us and this is our, our first cultivar, uh, it's our first new raspberry cultivar to be released with the molecular marker for raspberry root rot. This is called Glen Moore, it is an early floricane um, and it combines root rot resistance with high fruit quality with a large fruit size, uh, good picking efficiency. It's very productive over a very long season. It's actually a primocane crossed with a floricane and combines the best of both plant habits. The primocane um, gives Glen Moore uh, a low chill requirement, lower compared to standard floricane types. Um, but when we looked at it as a primocane, it only threw out fruit on the top six to eight buds in, on the first year cane. But it made nice long straight cane with a short internode length that we thought it made, would make a, a very good early floricane type because the initial fruit, the initial look at fruit quality was was very good, it was very high quality indeed, with a large fruit size and a good shelf life. Once we planted this in the, the floricane plot in the soil alongside uh, other, the other floricane genotypes, um, we found that the plot was heavily infested with phytophthora root rot and many of the genotypes died off very quickly within the first couple of years. We found that Glen Moore stood up very well and even after six years in that same soil plot and repeated flooding over a couple of seasons, we saw no symptoms of fight off the root rot uh, in Glen Moore at all in either rep. It's the first variety we've seen that combines the root rot marker with a large fruit size, high productivity, uh, good flavour and good agronomic traits. It produces nice straight cane with a, a low chill requirement that breaks bud very well down the cane and it starts very early in the season and continues over several weeks and it gives a very nice crop indeed. We know that Glen Moore crops very well in soil in Scotland under a tunnel uh, and this is our first production of it in coir in pots. So we're currently in our demonstration tunnel with uh, many of our best floricane varieties and genotypes uh, and Glen Moore is, is far and away the, the first one to crop. It's easily two weeks ahead of Glen Ample. Um, and two to three weeks ahead of, of Glen Caron um, and probably almost four weeks ahead of, of Glen D. Uh, and as I said, it crops over a long period. We started seeing the first fruits 
at the end of June this year and we made our first pick on the 30th of June just this week and we expect to be picking this over at least five, six weeks this year. All of our raspberry varieties until now have been floricanes with a, a Glen prefix uh, and this year we've released our first two primacane varieties uh, and this is the first one, this is Lewis. This is uh, an early season autumn fruiting type uh, with, with very nice fruit quality. Um, it's very glossy, very pretty and shiny with a lovely red, bright red colour and a very sweet flavour with vanilla notes. Uh, you may have come across it previously if you've been to our previous fruit walks with Fruit for the Future uh, when it was numbered RBC 16P5. Uh, this has done very well in blind taste tests over the last couple of years at the Institute uh, and also piques interest of, of retailers. Uh, in here, this is our a demonstration plot uh, in our primacane tunnel and in here we've cut down half of each plot uh, we've mowed down half of it to grow up just the autumn fruit and we've left the second half as came from the previous year to see how well uh, the genotypes double crop so we're looking at the early summer crop at the moment uh, Lewis started fruiting around the 25th of June and uh, it, it picks a very nice crop indeed. Now we think the best quality fruit uh, is actually produced in the autumn but it's very early autumn, probably late summer when we usually see the first fruit around very late July, early to, to mid-August and then it will fruit until the end of September, beginning of, of October. But the, the fruit quality that we're getting off the summer crop just now is nice and it's very sweet. The canes of Lewis are of moderate vigour and they're quite short, stout and upright habit that they have uh, with a very short internode length. Um, the chill requirement is very low um, as you would expect on a, on a primer cane but Lewis is probably one of the the lowest chill requirements of, of any of, of our germplasm. Uh, well, here we are uh, on the 9th of July in our primacane tunnel in our demonstration plot uh, and I'm standing beside our second primacane cultivar that we named and released this year. This is Sky. Uh, this is a late season primacane so it fruits quite late in Scotland uh, in the autumn it doesn't start till after mid-September uh, but the fruit crop is very nice um, gives nice large fruits very consistent very easy to pick uh, but during the summer it produces this lovely straight long cane with a very short internode length and it has a low chill requirement and we find it as an excellent double cropper because it produces this lovely long cane with a nice consistent crop, consistent with its autumn crop. It breaks bud all the way down the cane and has a very high number of fruit per lateral and it produces this lovely fruit that's well displayed and so easy to pick. It must be picked at a pink stage to achieve its uniformity in storage but that's very easily done because it picks so easily off the plug and fills your punnets quickly. The, the fruit quality is lovely with a, a lovely long storage time, 7 to 10 days and the, the flavour has had lovely feedback, excellent feedback from blind tastings that we've done through the Institute and through meetings and events over the last couple of years. This is our lovely Floricane variety Glen Caron that you've heard me describe uh, over many years. It was only named and released in 2018 um, and all of the focus was on its lovely sweet flavour um, 
almost confectionery flavour, very low acidity um, and almost sherbet notes in its background. We've had it on trials for, for many years um, and here at the Institute, this is the first time we've cropped it in coir substrate um, and it hasn't disappointed. We've had some really nice quality off of this. This season we started picking it on the 3rd of July uh, and it has some of the nicest quality berries uh, that we've seen off of any of our floricanes so far. And as you can see, we've still got plenty to come. It's not all about flavour and fruit quality. It produces quite slim, um, long cane uh, that has hairs uh, down, down the length of the cane. Um, we describe this as having gene itch, which gives the plant resistance to certain cane diseases, spur blight and cane botrytis. So that will reduce the need for chemical applications. Well, here we are again in our Floricane tunnel in the demonstration plot. It's now the 16th of July. We've been picking for a, at least a couple of weeks now. Um, and I'd like to show you this selection that we're very excited about. It's been around for quite a long time. It's still a numbered selection rather than a named cultivar. This is Floricane 0658C5. Uh, started picking this year on the, the 3rd of July, so um, a few, quite a few days earlier than Glen Ample did. Uh, and it has these beautiful, enormous fruit. And for several years, in several plots, it had the most productive crop with the, the largest fruit size out of any of our genotypes. And last year in this demonstration tunnel, this is the second year in this plot in Coya, it was the second highest yield in this plot. And it just blew away Glen D and Glen Ample. This uh, Floricane selection has Glen Ample as a parent and all of Glen Ample's great traits have, have come through uh, into its progeny in, in this case. It's a large number of fruit per lateral, good lateral length, nice strong laterals with a good display of fruit that's so easy to pick, uh, with very high yields year on year. Well, because we've seen it in many trials at the Institute uh, over many years, this gives us the luxury of having consistent data to, to give to the growers um, and supplement their trial data. Uh, and this year, you can see it's loaded with a, a very large fruit size uh, yet again. So we're hoping to see some great yields again from it this year. We'll also include samples uh, for blind tasting uh, here at the, the Institute with our staff. In addition to its great performance in the breeding trials, in soil and in substrate, it was also involved in an Innovate UK project looking at different flavour profiles uh, conducted here at the Institute and it compared 13 different commercial cultivars with some of our own breeding germplasm and this one consistently came out top coming out as uh, the preferential variety. This selection has gone to trial, its plants have gone out this year to some trialists, so we'll get uh, good feedback on what the industry thinks over the next couple of years. This is uh, another numbered selection, this is RBC 18F13. And uh, what's special about this is uh, it actually out-yielded the, the previous selection we were looking at, 0658C5, uh, quite considerably last year. But it also has this lovely bright red fruit, beautiful colour, looks beautiful in a punnet. And it also um, outperformed Glencarran for flavour, which is really saying something. So this, the plants of, of this selection have also are in the process of being propagated for going out to growers' trials and we're very keen to see what the grower feedback will be. Now we're 
moved on now to, to the 10th of August. We're in our seventh week of picking the raspberry floricanes and those are almost all but done now except for a few late types including Glen D. And we've got a few weeks yet before we start picking our autumn fruit on our primocane types, which is what you see here, some of our earliest genotypes. Um, thank you for taking this journey with me through the raspberries. Uh, it's been a great opportunity to, to show you our, our raspberry breeding programme for over quite a long season. Um, and thank you for listening. There'll be a, an opportunity to ask questions, so, so feel free. There'll be details on how to submit your questions at the end of the video. And I'll see you on Friday to answer your any questions that you have.